Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay. I'm going to give you an example and I want you to tell me what do you think, okay? Uh, I can't give you specifics because, you know, I don't want to name shame anyone. Okay. So yesterday, I was completing my work in terms of my videos and everything else. And finally, as I was, you know, after I finish uploading and everything, then I start deleting stuff. And obviously, I open my WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, let's just check whatever is there. So as soon as I appeared online, this female sends me a message uh, who has been following my channel for quite some time. And uh, uh, she likes my content or whatever. So she sent a message. Why are all men the same? I was like, men the same? What? Okay. Put a question mark. Like, what? What say? Now, why are men like this and like that? You know, why men are like dogs and why men can't be trusted? And, woo, just imagine female telling men, me, males, why are men like this? Why are men dogs? Why are men, you know, all bad things? So I was like, again, question mark. Like, I, I don't know. What are you talking about? What's it? She's like, no, I don't understand. Why uh, do men always look at women sexually? Why men... Uh, can't be loyal to women, why men uh, uh, can't be decent, why men don't have integrity, blah, 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 went on complaining. I said, okay. So I said, what happened? Give me some context. You know, because anyway, I was free. A little entertainment is there. So she started sending me, <laughs> because I guess typing is a bit hard, voice, you know, the voice messages. It's like, hello, Sir Loy, how are you? You know, young female, so she calls me Sir Loy. Okay, so uh, uh, Sir Loy, you know why men are like this? Uh, I, I, I love this guy, and uh, he two timed me, cheated on me, and all that. Then I was with this uh, other guy, and he uh, two timed me and cheated on me, and uh, he left me. And okay, so I think she had two three relationships, and I think the latest one also. He was like, I, uh, this guy was like. Uh, I considered him like my brother, but then uh, uh, even he showed me his true intentions. He wanted to have sex with me and all. So I was like, okay. So see, what happens normally females, no? they'll give you one side of the story. All men are bad. I'm good. I'm a virgin. I'm... Now, something which you do not know. This female has been with three guys, okay? What she doesn't remember, which I remember because, you know, I'd saved a note, was some time ago, some time before, she had sent me messages, oh, you're so hot, you know, first time when she was, you're so hot and, uh, you know, I sometimes, uh, I'm very fascinated by you. You know, she was giving me hints. So that time when I chatted with her and uh, I said, oh, really? I was in a flirty mood. I said, really? What do you mean? And all that. She said, no, sometimes I have these naughty thoughts about you. I think you're tattooed there. What about there? And she gave all that. Uh, for me, I don't mind. Okay. That time I was not Sir Loy. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so she said all this. It's nothing new. Women have, see, women are like men. They also have feelings, urges and all that. And, uh, well, she did confess a few things on some of the erotic stuff that she had done. And for me, guy or girl, anyone who shares anything private, intimate, controversial, evil or whatever, it stays with me in terms of the identity. I may share the incident, but I would not share specifics and I never reveal the person's identity like I'm not doing now. So she had revealed quite a number of things from her fantasy, her fetishes and all that. Okay. Now imagine this is from someone who has never met me. She is talking to me, chatting with me online. And because I made my notes and I remembered her through her, you know, number and her emoji, whatever that she uses, a display pic, I knew who she was. Okay. So that is why when she sent the message again, I knew, oh, the sexual female little entertainment before I close my day. Ah, I can just relax and enjoy a nice steamy conversation. But instead of steamy, it was all complaining. Okay, fine. Now think of it this way. 
if i did not know that this female was you know crazy sexually and little hyper i would have thought this poor baby this poor innocent angel all the guys look at her sexually all the guys want to do all bad things with her but she is so innocent she is so perfect okay but given that i know the other side i was able to okay fine and this is not the first time i've had many females like this where you know even when i was dating when i was in the dating game you know when you meet a girl she would tell you you know i always wanted true love i love this guy but he beat me he hit me and all that but once you get into a relationship with this girl physical or whatever automatically you realize bloody hell your personality is bloody weird they they turn out to be monsters they have their like i'll i'll give an example this filipina girl she used to always tell me her boyfriend used to physically hit her and all that and obviously we got physically close and sexually you know later on as she was my girl i realized she had a massive temper issue where if you would disagree with her or argue with her or not meet her demand she would actually break things in the house she would come to my flat apartment and argue and slam the door and break the plates i was like whoa 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 what are you doing she said what the fuck and this and that and i was like i'm i'm sorry you have to leave who the fuck you're going to make me leave and she would, she even dented my f- fridge by kicking it violently finally i couldn't take it i broke off with her because today she is doing this to my the plates and the fridge maybe tomorrow she'll break my car so and then you know when i was reflecting she used to say that all her boyfriends beat her and hit her when you behave like this who wouldn't beat you okay second girl indian female oh he tried to do this with me he tried to do that with me he sexually tried to rape me one day forcefully tried to have sex and all that i was like oh that's you know of course that's bad you force a girl into having sex it's not right then obviously we started dating and uh, getting to know each other and all and then one fine day as we are you know having sex she tells me like uh, today i want to try something new oh okay like what uh, can you be rough with me ah uh, yeah you know no 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 i mean can you like as if you are going to rape me hmm didn't i hear that somewhere so yeah it's my fantasy my fetish to be raped and all tie me up and force me in so i was like thinking you you know i i didn't tell her because obviously you know i was in a good mood play play wrong but obviously didn't do that extreme as she wanted and later on she was you know after you know women are happy hey, next time baby will do this and that yeah 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 sure 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 but then i was reflecting you complained that this guy did it forcefully to you and now you're telling me this is your fetish okay i'll give you last one third example uh this was not a girl who i got sexually involved with or had a relationship but she uh she i don't know just every guy where she seemed she was wanting to work on every employer or colleague wanted to have sex with her or whatever she complained about it and i was like oh that's really bad and all that so finally i said um, okay what do you want so she said i want your services to make a new resume personal brand whatever and uh, finally when we met when we met first time this female had this tight outfit with her cleavage popping out not just standing out popping out it was so tight and she had worn till here and she had a nice little ring on her belly button and her trouser was such where very easy to pull up you know and you know it was uh, i think one of those exercise kind of outfit so i just looked at her and i was like hmm very interesting in fact because i'm aware of where i look i didn't actually look at her so i was like yeah um, mm-hmm. yeah so what would you like uh, ex- it was so hard because if i look at her you know obviously i'll, I'll look at the there you know so yeah typical guy so mamma okay so now imagine this female is complaining that all men look at her i mean yeah you wear something like that of course men will stare at you look at you and and uh, 
thankfully, thankfully, because I knew what she was complaining about, I didn't bother. But I'm very sure if you dress like this, you present yourself like this, who wouldn't do it? Okay. In fact, let me give you a bonus, small bonus. Uh, or, or a statement which will make you think. Have you met uh, guys and girls who just bitch about and complain about the whole world and say, men are like this, he is like that. Oh, people are like this. Have you met individuals like that? You know, when people blame the whole world, when people complain, moan and groan, you begin to realize maybe something is wrong with you. Like, for example, have you met someone who's single, guy or girl who's single, and they'll blame everyone in the world. This guy was like this. That girl was like this. I never found the right person. Oh, they'll give you big stories. I never found the person who is at my wavelength. I never met someone who could relate to me. Yeah, you're so great. You're so amazing that nobody can meet your great intellect, your personality, your persona, your aura, your big, big words they'll use. No, I'm sorry. You assume your aura is big, you're intelligent. You're just a piece of shit. You're just a piece of shit who cannot accept the fact that you're a piece of shit. That's what the reality is, but they can't take it. Oh, I'm, I've never met anyone who can handle my aura. Oh, even if they are, they are already taken. Oh, these people, I still have to meet. I have to get out of this country and then only I'll meet my right. No, I'm sorry. Wherever you go, you'll still be the same. You'll be alone and single. Why? Because there's something wrong up here for you. You have this issue. Like even on my Facebook, I have this female. No, I really wanted love and understanding. And I, oh, okay, okay, fine. And I was like, okay. But then once I started having just giving this female little attention, oh, bloody hell, she used to lecture me on Jesus and God and Bible and, oh, I, and imagine, same female is, I don't know why people block me and don't. Bloody, she started uh, flooding me with all her nonsense. I blocked her. I couldn't take it anymore. This is, I'm not here to, your agony aunt, to have pages and pages of your nonsense about Jesus and all. I don't care. I never asked you. And then you have other females, uh, uh, Loy, uh, you, you know, uh, why can't I have a true friend and all that? I was like, okay, fine. You know, before I was like, okay, okay, you can consider me a friend. The minute you say that, they'll just start complaining, moaning and groaning about the whole world. Oh, you're like, oh my goodness, I can't take this anymore. And then you end up like, bugger off, man. I'll, I'll tell you this. There are so many men and women out there who complain about, oh, I can't find true love, all oh, this. For men and women, it's slightly different. For men, uh, either they are not earning properly, they have a stupid, shitty personality, or forget physically, they are smelly, unhygienic, or shitty. Okay, with men, mainly it's money and the, they are, uh, uh, you know, the male chauvinistic, stupid attitude that they have, or they are bloody losers. Okay, with females, it is all up here. Forget the money, it's all up here and here. And that is why these individuals forever remain single. And especially for a female, if, you know, female can get guys easy, easily. Females can get guys easily. So even after all this, if a female is still single, it's because she has problems here. That is a hundred percent I can guarantee. She has problems up here. Either her character is messed up, her mentality is messed up, or emotionally she is just completely messed up. That is why they'll forever remain single. But no matter, even if God comes and tells them this, no, they'll not agree. Because they can do no wrong. They are perfect. They are so smart. The aura is so great. The intelligence is so great. Their personalities are so great. Oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm classy. I'm, hey, shut your pie hole, man. You are a piece of shit. That is why you are alone. That is why billions of people are there. Not even one can get along with you. It's not the problem of the whole world. It's a problem with you. 
So, once again, this female who complaining about the whole world, problems of the whole world, problem is you. But then again, I've realized through life, telling them is no point. It's like shouting in the air, just goes. You know, like they say in the Bible, no? chasing the wind, nothing, you'll get nothing. So, I know talking or telling these people is a waste of time. So, I bother. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You know, frozen. Do you know such people? Such great individuals whose aura, intellect, personality, heart is so pure, like Vanaspati oil, like, you know, so pure that they can't get anyone. Met anyone like that? I meet a lot of cases like this. Look. Sometimes I think just for one vagina, is it worth taking all this headache? That's why men also think just for one putang, is it worth taking all this mental torture, this irritation, this stupidity? Better than that, just get one sex toy. Squeaky. <laughs> or paid service. Don't have to listen to any headache. Do. Bye-bye. Anyway, these are some of the harsh realities of life. Let me know what you think. You think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Love to hear from you. It's me signing off. You guys take care. Oh, one, one last thing, one last thing, one last thing. Message to these girls. Listen and listen carefully. If everyone in your life was bad, the problem is not those people. The problem is you. You chose these people, number one. So you chose those people. So your selection process is bad, number one. Number two is, if every guy in your life could not get along with you or had a problem with you, it's not every person, it's you. Means there's a problem with you. Everyone finds a problem with you. If, for example, me, I can't get along, me with my tattoo, I can't get along with people. It's not a problem with them. It's a problem with me. Why do you think I isolated myself? Because I know I can't get along with them. I can't. I can't get along with people. It's not a problem with them. Problem with me. Oh, I'm so unique. I can twist the arm. I'm so unique. I'm so great. No, there's nothing unique or great. I can't get along with it. It's my fault, my failure. Take personal responsibility. Number three is, stop. Please stop bitching, moaning and groaning. It's so bloody irritating. And most of the guys, they tolerate you only because they, they think boobs and vagina. I can get one of these at least. That's why they tolerate you. Or they're just bored. Or they want to kill time. Because ultimately, they realize, is it worth just getting this? What am I getting? One putang? Five minutes of pleasure? For five minutes of pleasure, do I want to take this curse and this headache? And that's why they break up. And even friends, they're like, oh, man, we thought this was entertainment, but now it's proven to be a headache. Better to bye-bye. In the end, you can sit in your little bubble and cocoon and feel sorry for yourself and why men are like that. No, look at yourself in the bloody mirror and say, I suck. I need to change. I need to improve. And go get yourself someone who will tell you on the face what you need to hear. Until that, you want to forever have your issues and problems. You might be successful in your career, you might be successful in money, you might be successful social media star, all that. I'm not talking of the areas where you're successful. We are talking of, you know, when you have a toothache, you don't talk of the parts of your body which are perfect. We talk of the toothache. So if you have a toothache, problem is here. Don't keep giving you know, temporary medicines to kill the pain. Find out how did you get the toothache in the first place. Yes, you have to remove the tooth anyway. But find out how did you get it in the first place. Maybe brushing was not or maybe eating sweets and all that shit. And once you sort that out, it will not happen again. Like you have diabetes and you have overweight. Taking medicines just for that will not help. How did you get it in the first place? You sort that out. Nutrition, food, habits, automatic diabetes and everything else will sort itself out. Even the overweight problem. 
Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay? <sighs> they say, no, uh, medicine is always bitter. Truth always hurts. Well, someone needed to tell you that. Bitch is a bitch. Dumb is dumb. And a dumb fuck is a dumb fuck. Okay? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. Love to hear from you. It's me signing off. Take care.